And moving on to Nier, what do you have for us? Wow. I watched uh, Sentai Daishkaku, yes. also known as Go Go Loser Ranger. Yeah, what a name. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I think the more accurate thing would be like, what, what is this, Ranger Reject, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a Yostar Pictures production. Um, What's the last of, thing? It was a giant kind of piece of ours? Um, what was the last one? For what? Yostar? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're doing Blue, Gar- Blue Archive this season. Um, oh, okay. And they didn't they do anything did, before? They did the Arknights anime. Um, okay, okay, okay. They did, okay, okay. I guess, some of the Jerlane. What is this, an OVA? Oh, right. Beast of Kazenshin, um, right? The one with the lollies or whatever? Those are like slow ahead yeah. or something like that? Yeah. Slow pace ahead or whatever it was. Um, yeah. I think the only thing okay, that okay, they've okay, okay, okay. done recently that hasn't been like a, a Yo Star game yeah. uh, was what was this? Uh, my master has no tail. Oh, oh yeah, Which this one. All right, I remember Boobanite. this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So, yeah. so yeah, um, Yostar Pictures obviously is Yostar's sort of in-house animation studio. Um, mm-hmm. not really sure why they picked this up. Uh, this is a manga original. Um, I kind of tried to look for like, um. Like links to Yostar with this, but I, I kind of think came a over lot here. of series are also, or not a lot of series, but a lot of. How do I say this? It's not necessarily the age of the anime boom, I think, but it's an the this year and the next couple of years are going to be all the mainstream corporations. I think are trying to jump ship. Not jump ship, I guess, but they're trying to really make anime. Um, and as corporations do, a lot of them are kind of just like, we're just going to make all the anime every year. And it's like, yeah. this is a part of their project. You know, some Probably, are obviously yeah. good, good, and obviously, you know, some are less than good, but this is one of the ones that caught, caught in that net, I think. Yeah. Um, so this make original, um, it's. Uh, I think it's a Kodansha like uh magazine that it shows mm-hmm. up in. Do you want to uh-huh. tell us about the author or writer? <laughs> um, who who is it? I didn't even look into him. Be honest. Wait, did you did you really not look at it? No. <laughs> like, how it about, by... What did they do? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, <Okay>. sir. Yodori. <laughs> oh, right, right. Toast Toast mentioned this, right? I think in the previews yes, where so, this is yes. the um, this is the Gotoban. Uh, creator. No, uh, yes, Gotobu no Hana Yome, the quintessential, yeah. the quintessential quintuplets. Right, right. I, I, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Um, so yeah, you know, this has uh, quite the pedigree behind it, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, basic premise. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just read them all the synopsis because it's kind of convoluted. Uh, Thirteen years ago, the nefarious monster army invaded Earth. The humanity's great protectors, the Dragon Keepers defeated them in a single year. Every Sunday since, the monsters have been forced to act out humiliating defeat after defeat in front of the unsuspecting public. Determined to change this, a single monster, D, infiltrated the ranger force. With the help of a mysterious ranger, Yumiko Suzukiri, D managed to seize one of the divine artifacts, the only weapon capable of permanently killing the monster's immortal bodies. However, D's subsequent encounter with the dragon keepers led to his unfortunate end. So we'll stop them now. So basically, the initial premise is monsters invade Earth, right? The rangers defeat the monsters. Um, but in secret, the rangers sort of went to the monster's base and made a truce with all of the remaining henchmen, right? Like the mooks, the, the nobodies. Um, and they basically were like, yeah, we'll let you guys live. Um, if you do a effectively a weekly Sunday special where the uh, evil bad guys will come up with some monster, uh, mm. they'll, they'll beam down and then the rangers will defeat them. And 
they've sort of made that into a commercial product, basically, and the Rangers are profiting off of it. Um, right, right, right. And you know, the main character, which is one of the uh, sort of henchmen, uh, he's named Fighter D, because um, they all they don't really have names; they just go by like Fighter A, Fighter B. Fighter, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because they um, don't need it, yeah. Yeah. So Fighter D is like, I'm sick of this shit, right? Um, and he stands up to the Rangers, and he gets fucking owned, obviously, because he's a singular, <laughs> he's a singular henchman up against a group of fucking Sentai Rangers. Um, right. So he gets his ass beat, but instead of returning to the mothership like he's supposed to, he stays on Earth and he takes the disguise of a human. Right, and using that disguise, he infiltrates um, the quote-unquote Rangers, right? Which is a, I guess, sort of um, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's it's basically like a workforce that's sort of uh, they're like the the colored Rangers like employ people to sort of work under them, um, and it's sort of this whole like job force thing um so he infiltrates them and he comes up with a ploy to you know essentially assassinate uh each of the rangers and then it sort of goes from there um one of the people he meets within the rangers is yumiko yumiko suzukiri uh, and she's got this sort of mysterious air uh, about her and she ends up discovering uh d's like secret that he's a monster and she, instead of ratting him out um, she says, uh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, uh, kill the Rangers. And then her sort of motivation is a mystery. And then it kind of, you know, goes from there. Um, there's only two episodes out right now. And, you know, it's pretty much only set up so far, but I'd say it's not bad. It's, it's okay. Um, it's sort of interesting because I feel like when you hear, uh, a few people sort of pitch this to other people. They kind of compare it to like the boys, right? Um, okay. Which I think is kind of inaccurate, right? Because if anyone has watched the boys, they know that um, the quote unquote heroes in the boys are like just straight up evil, right? Like they're horrible fucking people. Um, right, right. And the Rangers in this series aren't really like they're not really villains right they're, like, they're not really bad people they're not really good people right they're just kind um, of selfish yeah like the Re the red ranger is obviously entirely narcissistic uh pretty much everything he does is for like his own vanity um right, right, right. the uh green R ranger i think it is is like uh he seems uh a little bit sadistic um you know the Blue Ranger seems uh, to have a, an awfully short temper, you know, stuff like that. But they're not like, they're not like killing people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. They're they're kind of just like exploiting their own power uh, for profit and fame. Um, yeah, yeah. And so it's it's kind of like um, A Train or like the other kind of guys under Homelander. Yeah, it's like they're they're not really like evil. They're kind of just like you know the fame has sort of gone to their head. They're they're yeah, yeah, they'd yeah. rather keep making money by lying to the public, uh, as opposed to you know giving up the sort of ranger uh, mantle or whatever. Now that you know yeah. the world has been saved and stuff, um, but yeah, they're not like uh like they're they're just bad enough to where like you kind of want to root for the the main character, um, but it it. it like the show is like pretty uh unabashedly like yeah the main character is still like technically a villain right like he he is a bad guy yeah, yeah, yeah. for like you know he's a henchman under the evil invading force that wants to take over the world right yeah, yeah. um so it's a sort of a, a bit more of an interesting uh dynamic on that um so i think the boys comparison kind of falls flat outside of the fact that like it's an underdog trying to sort of take out like these big, you know, popular um, kind of yeah, yeah, like you know, super powered um, characters. 
and um you know outside of that i think it's it's fairly interesting um i don't really know because the the series seems to be going under the main like the i think the main i guess drama and conflict is sort of going to be like um like whether or not the main character sort of like gets found out um mm-hmm. like uh cuz he is capable of effectively shape shifting right um mm-hmm. he can take on the face of like i i guess pretty much anybody he's seen or whatever um and but the issue is i guess he when he's shape shifting or whatever his body is like super fragile so like even mm-hmm. casual touch can like uh crack his skin and stuff and like the the skies will start to fade so i think a lot oh, of the drama okay, okay, okay. yeah i think a lot of the drama there is going to be um like when he's trying to infiltrate or you know take the guise of another person yeah it's um, like hitman level or something yeah yeah sort of sort of something like that um but yeah it's it's really interesting as for the um audio visuals i think they're pretty good uh there's a lot of cg in this um almost all of the action um well like whenever the rangers are on screen the rangers are like entirely cg um oh. which is a bit odd what about the battle scene what about the action scenes um they're not bad there's a lot of like um it's not really like choreographed action or anything it's kind of a lot of just the rangers do a pose and then they they shoot like a big beam um oh okay okay okay, okay, okay. yeah so it's not like uh it's not super tense or anything i think it it serves its purpose pretty well colors are pretty nice um i think the the voice cast for this is pretty strong um the main character is voiced by yusuke kobayashi he does a pretty good job um uh yumiko is voiced by uh yumika yano uh, i think she does a really good job um she's a newcomer yeah. yeah and she has this very um because yumiko uh, as a character is a very like um intense character she's got these like pitch black eyes um that like definitely they like make a point to where like she definitely stares like right into your fucking soul uh whenever she looks at you um and they i think she does a voice that's pretty good for a character that's sort of very um like flips between being very intense and then sort of you know playing it off as like a casual joke or whatever um it's sort of like an unsettling kind of thing it's very good um the red ranger is voiced by yuichi nakamura um and he's he's going pretty ham um nice 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 yeah it's pretty good um one of the um I don't really know like how important this character is, but I guess one of the like uh, other rangers that the character is sort of interacting with on a regular is voiced by Daishi Kajita, who I believe is also a relative newcomer. Um, he's a very um, Genki, I guess, very very high energy. Um, and other than that, uh, the Pink Ranger is voiced by Ichimichi Mao um pretty oh, good this is that's like very that's a very like good pairing because yeah you know do you know about mao's history uh no. she's a ri- she, uh so you know how there's like a lot of revolving door with like the sentai ranger stuff right yeah like a lot of yeah. the females that are like going to gravure model or come from gravure model into sentai stuff like that right so she was originally a one of the like a yellow ranger i think and one right. of the one of the sentai stuff before she became a full-on uh, voice actress right Pretty pretty fun. Um yeah, she does a pretty good job. Um the Green Ranger is Kosuke Toriyumi. Um he hasn't really talked much, but um the other Rangers, I think what is it, the Yellow Ranger is uh Kencho Ono. He's doing this really weird, oh, okay. like like high pitched voice. Like he, he sounds like yeah, like a legitimate Melvin. Um it, it's very <laughs> nice. it's very it's a very odd voice. But yeah, all, the voice cast is all quite good. Um, the characters are pretty charming. They're all fairly over the top. 
um, which is kind of interesting because the tone for this is a bit odd, I guess, because when it's doing the Sentai stuff, right, it's very self-aware, right? Like it knows it's being sort of goofy and, you know, it's a bit hammy. Um, yeah, yeah. But then when it gets into sort of the more drama stuff, it's pretty serious, right? Like it, it, it kind of, it doesn't really, like it takes itself pretty seriously. As should be, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's not like, um, I, I don't really know how to word it, but it's like, it's, it's, it's not like it's jarring or anything, but I figured, because the initial, like, stuff is very hammy, right? Like the, the initial, like, like first, I don't know, 15 minutes of the first episode is it's all very sort of tongue in cheek. Uh, and then it sort of does the tone switch to where it's, it's not like it's um, gritty or anything, but it is very serious. Uh, and I was kind of surprised by that. I thought it would be a bit, I thought it would have a bit more like comedy intermixed into it. Um, but it, it kind of doesn't, right? Um, well, does it, does it ever go back? to it is my question or does um it, it does out? yeah it does it does uh so like whenever because the the rangers are like they're all very like they're like theater kids basically right so whenever they put the the costume on like they're they're definitely playing it up because there's almost every time they're putting the costume on there's citizens around right yeah, yeah um yeah. so it sort of does a thing where yeah like they play it up whenever you know they're out in public and then when they're sort of more behind closed doors, they're a bit more, um, a bit more serious and menacing, right? Um, a bit more like, uh, cause, cause the one scene where they're interacting with like the, the henchmen, um, and they're sort of threatening them, uh, it's, it's a bit more like, you know, they're kind of trying to, uh, beat their chest and, you know, flex their, flex their power or whatever, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just thought there would be a bit more comedy interspiced between it, but you know, it's not bad at all. It's just it was it was a bit surprising, I guess. Um, I thought it would be a bit more tongue in cheek throughout it, like the entirety of it. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's I think it's balanced fairly well. It was just a bit of a an interesting thing I found, but yeah. Okay. Um. um any comments I, on the OPED? Yeah, so the, I think the OP is really quite nice, actually. Uh, it's visually very interesting. Uh, it goes through uh, a number of styles. Uh, I think it's largely CG, but it looks really good. It's got a very interesting choice of uh, shaders that it uses. Um, there's also some more uh, cartoony, almost like westerny. Uh, 2D styles that they use um, at certain points. Uh, the song is pretty nice. Um, what is it? It's Jikai Yokuku by Tatsuya Kitani. Um, it's pretty catchy. Uh, as for the ED, the ED is uh, quite charming. Um, it's sort of this uh, upbeat, like choreographed dance number uh, between like a bunch of the henchmen and the rangers themselves. Uh, it's it's very interesting. You don't see, um, you don't see dancing very often in EDs anymore, which is uh, yeah. something something that used to be pretty popular, I think. But uh, yeah, you in you general, it very... though, it kind of just you know it kind of dropped off the face of the planet because yeah, uh, of you know most people don't pay attention to EDs anymore. So <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, they're they're really fun. OP and ED are, are really good. Uh, I think the OP is very good. Uh, I, I definitely recommend, even if you're not going to watch the show, I'd probably recommend checking out the OP. Just, you know, it's a fun OP, I think. It's got some nice visuals. Um, the overall, I think this is pretty promising. Um, I think it can definitely, it can definitely drop off, like, like this thing could fall on its face really hard. Um, right now, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but right now, I think it's pretty promising. Uh, the first two episodes, like you said, are mostly set up, but I think the characters are good. Um, the general premise is strong. Um, the main character is not annoying as fuck, which is a huge uh, boon, right? Because 
typically in these sort of like um these series where like the character is supposed to be like a bad guy right and he's yeah, gonna yeah, he's yeah. gonna kill the good guys like typically these series have really just insufferable main characters and they're like super edgy or you know they have some sort of like dumb like revenge um thing going on but this one's kind of just like yeah like the the main character is like uh an evil henchman and he wants to kill the rangers and you know i'm sure he'll probably get a more concrete uh i guess relatable motivation later on but yeah. um as of right now i think it's a decent setup um and yeah the, the characters are all pretty likable um yeah i i think it's a good start um it's definitely something i'll i'll keep watching um you know i think it's strong hopefully right. hopefully it keeps up right but yeah yeah hopefully <laughs> Um, although, you know, again, it, yeah, it, it'll depend on the manga original, but, um, it all, it'll obviously also depend pretty heavily on, uh, how far Neg uh, Neg can take it, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, what's your mal rating? Um, as for right now, I'd probably give it a pretty strong 7.5, um, Maybe an eight. I I might bump it up to an eight, depending on how it plays out. But yeah, right now, pretty good seven point five. All right. Thank you very much, Nier.